Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Legoland theme park in Florida. I am so excited to be here. I've never been here before. And this theme park has like 55 different attractions, a handful of really cool themed roller coasters, some awesome dark rides and some live shows. And I can't wait to show you around the park. We're also gonna be doing their Halloween event, Brick or Treat and getting lots of candy and seeing some really cool, uh, scary, spooky stuff. So let's eat some some food, ride some rides, and have a beautiful Legoland kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And we have made it to Legoland. Right here we have the Legoland Hotel in front of us, and then the theme park is literally right next door. Look at that. That's some really cool hotel accommodations. And even though this park is like built for kids, like it honestly is built for kids. That's the uh, the slogan. Uh, it does have some really awesome thrill rides and also some cool history. In fact, these very grounds were once the uh, most visited tourist destination in Florida for years. Before we head into the park and ride all of the rides, I do want to show you my hotel in my room a little bit. I'm staying in the Pirate Island section of the Legoland Hotel, and it's just so cool. So I just want to show you real quick, and then we're going to ride some rides. And did I also mention they have a Soren type attraction here at Legoland and a Peppa Pig theme park? The theming in this hotel is really amazing. I love it. We've got a little smuggler's bar over here. And just as you walk through the hallways, you'll see little play areas and uh, Lego statues that talk to you. Like over here, we have a prison. Look at this, a pirate, a pirate jail. And then uh, I want to take you up to the room. So we have to hop on the elevators. But watch this guy over here. He always catches me off guard. He even has a gold tooth. Oh. I think he's sleeping. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But wait. Wait till you see these elevators. Watch this. These elevators are the best. <laughs> there you go, you sea dogs. Have a great day. <laughs> Look at this, now watch, you gotta hit your floor. And then look, there's carpet in here. Honestly, I look forward to hearing this song now every time I come to this elevator. I'll never forget this elevator. I'll never forget it. They also sometimes say funny quotes, so listen closely. Yo! <laughs> I think this room is so cool and it's so well themed. It just looks like an adventure in here. You've got this king size bed right here and a nice little Lego Land Pirate Island Hotel map in the background. I love the parrot there. And then look at the walls. They have these murals on them that just look so cool. It's like a pirate adventure in here. You got a little TV, a desk area there, a nice large mirror. And then over here you have uh, like uh, your little laundry area and uh, some extra pillows and blankets up there, some storage, a bathroom, which the bathroom is actually really, really cool. But over here is what I want to show you guys. Look at how cool this is. It's like having a whole nother room over here. You know what I mean? You have mom and dad sleep over there. Then you got bunk beds over here in the shape of a pirate ship. You got your own TV. And then, of course, you got Legos. They literally have Legos in the room so you can play with, like, and uh, build things. And I just love that. And I love this little video, too. Like, as if there's, like, Lego people running around the halls of the hotel. When it comes to themed rooms, it's got to be more than just like little like paintings on the wall or screen printed graphics. I want to see physical props like parrots and uh, monkeys and treasure maps. And that's what I think Disney has been missing. You know what I mean? It's something that they haven't really tapped into. Uh, I, I like how the old school rooms looked like Pop Century and All Stars and stuff like that. I always love those types of rooms. Now they're kind of changing it up a little bit, but let me know in the comments what you think I mean when it comes to like, you know, what I mean like, you know kids rooms and stuff like that I think this is like perfect 
There's also a little game in the room where a monkey is hiding his bananas around the room and you have to find how many bananas. You have to count to see how many bananas you can find. And look at that. It's got a little guide. I think that's cool. Adds a little adventure. But one thing I really love is the view. Look at this view. Wow, right? That is beautiful. Now that I've showed you a little bit of the hotel, it's time to head into Legoland and I'm excited. I want to ride some of the rides and also I hear there's some iconic food stops that we have to try. And then of course, brick or treat later on tonight. I hope we get a lot of candy. I'm excited that we're at Legoland for the Halloween season because everything has like spider webs and they're playing spooky music and I'm excited to go to Brick or Treat's uh, monster party tonight. This is going to be a fun time. A lot of the festivities for Brick or Treat goes on during the day, but at 2 p.m. later on, that's when the trick-or-treating starts and the candy. And then, of course, at 8 p.m., they have the fireworks show. And once it gets darker out, I feel like that's when it gets into its full effect. So we're going to probably ride some of the rides earlier on in the day and then focus more on the uh, Brick or Treat and the Monster uh, Party uh, later on tonight. Here is a map of the park, and I have to say, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I think we entered in right here, uh, so we're probably just about right here, I think we are. Oh yeah, we're right here, and look at how deep this goes. And it's one of those parks that doesn't go in like a circle, it just goes all the way back. So you're going to have to, we're going to have to walk all the way out, and uh, yeah. We're going to take it all in and figure out where we should go first. I kind of want to go ride the pirate ride and uh, head back to uh, Cypress uh, Gardens. That's going to be like where I want to start, I think. I don't think I want to hop right on into a roller coaster. So we're going to make our way back to the pirate's ride. And I'm excited because it's a slow boat ride through uh, the Cypress Gardens, I think. Or a nice little scenic area. And then we'll hop into some roller coasters, try some of the food, get a nice little mixture, you know? I'm going to be honest, this is not what I pictured Legoland to be like. This is so peaceful and beautiful. Like walking around, like it's not crowded. Today is a regular park day. Actually, it's a weekend. Today is a weekend. And look at it. This is so cozy. I thought it was gonna be, you know, very uh, like fast paced and ca like chaotic. But wow, look at that view. Holy moly. They have a ski show here, like a water skiing show. Wow, and there's a pirate ship over there. Pirate River Quest. That's where we're going, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And look at these trees. Wow, I'm geeking out. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is so cool here. Before Legoland was here, this was home to Cypress Gardens, which was the number one tourist destination in Florida before Walt Disney World came. And it even tied for the number one spot with the Grand Canyon for the most visited tourist destination in the country back in 1963. And then Legoland bought it in 2011, and they actually have Cypress uh, Gardens still here. Uh, they have some of the attractions over there, and it has its own separate land. But but it's a really cool history lesson and you should look it up. There's a lot of Disney facts. I'll talk about it a little bit later on in the video, but I'm happy we get to explore that area over there. But I never thought it would be so beautiful and quiet here in Legoland. But here it is and look at how beautiful it is back here. The trees, the music, Pirate's Cove. Oh, and then there's Cypress Gardens, the historic botanical gardens. I think the boat ride actually takes us through there. Ahoy! Watch Brickbeard's Buccaneer recruits pass swashbuckling skill test on high seas. Oh, this is a stunt show. <laughs> this isn't even it. The Pirate's River quest is about 20 to 30 minutes long, I think, and it takes you through the Botanical Garden, so you get to see some of that amazing uh, uh, Florida tourism back in the 1960s. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hop in line and go out on an adventure to find uh, one of the uh, captain, one of the pirates. We gotta find one of the pirates. I think it's Blackbeard or Brickbeard. I think his name's Brickbeard. Look at these boats. Wow! Pop 
you will help us by being my eyes and ears. Captain Redbeard's eyes and ears? Oh, and be warned. The monkey tribe are about, and they'll be up to no good. Watch out for their monkey spies. We're heading towards a land full of beautiful birds. But beware, legend has it that the bird song of these beautiful birds can make you fall into a beautiful sleep. Now, you need to find and count my pretty pink diamonds. See if you can find all 12 diamonds. Good luck. There's my old first mate stuck in that web. I'm in a bit of a sticky situation, Captain. Make this noise to keep the spiders away. <laughs> don't do that. It makes them angry. Does it? Then don't do it. <laughs> Good luck, matey. Thank you. <laughs> How much treasure was with the creepy crawlies? <laughs> We're getting past the Kraken! We survived! <laughs> well sailed, crew! <laughs> We're sailing into open waters, and I'm coming home to my beloved Cypress Gardens. Florida's first tourist attraction. It all started here in the year... 1936! I was about to say 1936. Ah. Oh, hold your beat, Popsy! <laughs> Let the crew feel the wind in their face. Let them enjoy the open water, the wildlife, and the tropical wonderland that is Cypress Garden. That was amazing. I had no idea that it was gonna take us out into open water, like right into a lake. And that was incredible. There was people's homes. There were people riding, like there were, well, there were people actually driving their own personal boats. And here we are in a theme park, just going around on a boat tour. That was like one of the coolest things I think I've ever experienced in a theme park. Very cool, I'm gonna remember that forever. Now that we've gotten to ride a ride, I want to grab one of the iconic foods in the park and I made my way up to Granny's Apple Fries. This reminds me of like a state fair food and today's the special Granny's Apple Fries with ice cream and caramel sauce for $10.49. And here are the apple fries. Um, I'm kind of just uh, thinking they're fried apples with vanilla ice cream. Everybody says I have to try them, so I gotta get them, and they look really good. So these are the signature like uh, food item at Legoland, and I'm excited to try them. Gotta get a little bit of that vanilla ice cream. There we go, and here it is. This could be one of the best theme park foods I've ever had. Wow. It's like, it's like mini old school McDonald's apple pies with ice cream. This is so good. The apple fries, I, I, like you don't even need the ice cream. You can just eat them on their own. And I think they're dusted in cinnamon sugar or something. This is phenomenal. This is 10 out of 10. Those apple fries were so good. I ate them all. I ate them, I had to. It was so good and I'm gonna remember those. That's gonna, that's gonna make a lasting memory for me. Now let's uh, go uh, keep on exploring the park and maybe ride some more rides. Now that we've gotten some apple fries, it's time for a roller coaster. And I think we're gonna head over, uh, head on into Coastersaurus. Look at this, they even have a gigantic Lego dinosaur out here making noise. This coaster looks fun. Coastersaurus was a wooden roller coaster that used to be here at uh, Cypress Gardens. Uh, and then when Legoland took it over, they changed it to Coastersaurus. But it was called Triple Hurricane. But uh, yeah, I like a little wooden roller coaster. Now I still want to do Merlin's uh, coaster, the Dragon Coaster. That's a steel coaster. And uh, we'll probably do that one right after Coastersaurus here. 
I love these ride vehicles. Look at this. It's like we're in a little SUV or a truck or something. That's really cool. And uh, there's the coaster track. I'm a little nervous. Wooden roller coasters always scare me. I don't know why. You know what I mean? Oh boy, here we go. Ah! I'm a little scared. Oh, uh oh. Ah! <laughs> oh my lord. I don't want to die. Oh, it's very shaky. Ah! Oh no! Saurus was a fun little family wooden roller coaster. I like that a lot. I mean, it wasn't like any like huge drops, but it was still scary. I mean, you know what I mean? The cart was shaking. A little bit of a tight squeeze there. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna keep moving along and I wanna head on over to the dragon. It's really cool because we're gonna head into the creatures of the kingdom area and uh, then uh, maybe uh, get something to eat afterwards. Look at this place. I love it here. Huh, it's so well themed, you know? You can see a uh, little Lego Dracula up there, Brick or Treat. And I think the dragon is actually right in here. Yeah, look at this. This must be like the medieval area. Oh yeah, right here is the dragon. This is a steel roller coaster. And uh, it's really cool because it's like uh, Merlin. Since we're over in this area, we decided to stop at the Dragon's Den to get some White Claws and beers. So, cheers, cheers everyone! Cheers! The coaster itself is a dragon. Look at how cool that is. And it also looks like there's a really cool party happening in there. Dragon. Wow, here we go.
the dragon coaster was amazing and it was the disco one it was like a holiday overlay but that was so i i love how it was indoors and outdoors like it was an indoor outdoor roller coaster and uh i loved it i thought that was great might as well keep moving along and uh decided to make my way over to the lego movie world Everything is awesome in here, and this is where that Soren uh, attraction is like, Masters of Flight. They said it's like Soren. I'm excited to see what it's like. It's got to be in this big, gigantic theater here. But this land is so beautiful. It's very immersive, actually. Look at this. Spaceships. This is the Double Decker couch, but this one is totally different. As you can see, it has three levels, which is one more than two. Also, it flies. Right? Look at this. It's just like Soren, really. You just sit down, it's got the same seats, too. Oh boy. You are now ready to go. Sit back and enjoy your flight. Hey everyone, Emmett here. Please be aware that we are about to present the triple decker flying couch for the first time to an assembly of master builders. They may be unable to control themselves. Fellow master builders, I present to you my latest. Masters of Flight was an amazing attraction. I mean, it's not as good as Soarin' or Rise in New York. Uh, it's it's like a Soarin' attraction, except for it turns you around, which I've been on rides like that before. Uh, the only thing is, is I wish it was like real life like areas, and then they added just Lego characters in there. Uh, it also kind of reminded me of uh, Despicable Me at Universal Studios, but just in like a Soarin' style, you know? And also, I switched out my shirt. Now I'm uh, ready for for uh, brick or treat. I'm ready to do some uh, brick or treat, trick, brick or treating? Brick or treating, yeah. I'm ready to do some brick or treating and seeing some spooky characters. Strike the pose! Thank you for coming to my V.I.M. dance party. Now, you very important monsters, enjoy the rest of your day here at Brick or Treat. <laughs> Trick or treating goes from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. and that's just included with your ticket on coming to the park. Uh, and then later on tonight they're going to have a fireworks show. Some of the characters are going to be out and about and I'm excited because some of them are like Lego monster characters and uh, their wait times aren't like long. Like I'm sure I'm going to be able to just walk up to a few of them. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited for like the spooky atmosphere, the, the Halloween ambience. Hi, how are ya? It's a, it's a mummy Lego. Yeah. You look like a, a scary mummy Lego though. No, he's friendly. He's oh, gonna, friendly. Kind of looks like he's grimacing, but it's because he lost a few of his Oh, I understand, I understand. Well, yeah, I get that. Well, it was nice to meet you. Do you mind if we have a photo? Oh, thanks, mummy. Oh, it's starting to get spooky here at Legoland. There's a ghost drinking water right now. Look at this. There's someone drinking water right there. <laughs> Trick or treat. Ah, thank you. Square foot and wolf guy. Oh, I like this. Oh, oh wow. Are you smelling it? You smell Gracie? That's it. I have a dog. I have a Gracie. I, I, oh, yeah. Ah. 
Oh, wow. I love your energy. I can match it. I, I'd be here all day with you. This is too cool, but you know, can we take a photo? I mean, I love you too, Square Foot. I do. I do, I do. But a photo with both of you would be great. All right, I'm coming in. Now that we got to see the mummy, it's time to head into the Lost Kingdom adventure. Like, look at this area over here. Look at the theming. We're, ent we're like we're entering into another land, and this is a uh, Lost Kingdom adventure. And uh, look at the Lego statues here. And this is an indoor like shooting ride, I think. Kind of like Buzz Lightyear. We'll find out. I just love all the theming in here. It's beautiful. It's really really cool. Look at these ride vehicles. That is too cool. I wasn't expecting this. This is big production right here. A mummy shooting game. I am so excited. Got a little trigger button there. Very easy. Oh. I'm not doing too good. When you when you hit them, they do things. <laughs> that was actually really fun, but sadly, I did not do good. I got 8,000 points. I am not even a junior adventure. This place keeps on shocking me. Like, seriously, I just got off the ride and I started walking around, like, exploring the park a little bit, and I made a right turn and I ended up in this beautiful area. And I'm just like, wow, this is tucked away. This is amazing. I don't know what it is, but it's so cool. I see like they have like picnic tables here, so I'm sure at one time that this was maybe a little like quick service. And then this says Magnolium Mansion, Magnolia Mansion. But there's nothing there, it's all just roped off and like I just, I literally just came up this way and I walked along here, I was like, what's over here? And then look at this. Look at it just sitting back here, it looks so cool. I, I feel like there's gotta be something in there. Oh no, it says model citizens, model citizens only. Right there, I see it. Model citizens is their cast members or team members here at uh, Legoland. So uh, that's only for them. So at one point this had to do something. If you guys know, let me know in the comments because I think this is just so cool. It's really, really nice. As I was making my way to my next destination, I noticed they had a Squid Ghouls milkshake, mint chocolate shake with purple chocolate rim, spirited uh, sprinkles, whipped cream, and candy eyes. Candy eyes? So I think I'm gonna grab it. And then we're gonna head down and I wanna see a little bit more of the mini land and uh, the Cypress Gardens. This milkshake looks amazing. I love shamrock shakes, and this is a mint chocolate chip one. It's like a shamrock Oreo shake, and uh, here we go. The only downside, just like anything else that's frozen based in uh, Florida, it just melts so quick. Look at that. I like it a lot. Oh. These guys look like they're on official business. Keep it going. I don't even know what to say. I, honestly, oh wow, oh wow, okay. This is great. This is, wow. I don't even, was that supposed to happen? Was that a part of the show? Is anybody around, like? <laughs> Where did that come from? I honestly don't know if those were people that worked here or if they dressed up. I don't even know because there was nobody else around us. It was just us three and it just came out of nowhere. But okay, <laughs> we're gonna keep moving along and I wanna go down to Cypress Gardens and kinda just walk around as the sun is starting to set and it's starting to get to that golden hour, that beautiful time of the day. 
I already know walking in here is just gonna be amazing just by this right here. Look at this. This is real life, folks. Real life, and we're about to go walk through a beautiful, like, botanical garden. It's hard to believe that where we're walking to right now, back in the 1960s, more people wanted to visit here than the Grand Canyon. That's crazy, isn't it? Like, this is the number one Florida destination. Like, people travel to Florida just to come here and here alone. I honestly can say that this is one of the, like, most beautifulest things I've ever seen. I, uh, it, it, it took my breath away when I first, uh, like, came around the corner. Look at this. I've never seen trees like this before. Wow, oh my lord, look at it, and the sun is peeking through right there. How cool is that? A little did you know, the banyan tree. I like some facts that they have here. Uh, the banyan trees are a type of fig tree native to India. This tree was placed in a five gallon bucket and delivered to its location here in Wilboro uh, in 1936. So all of this, came out of a five gallon bucket. Wow, holy moly. This is my first time seeing it from this angle and it's, it's even better. Beautiful, wow. I honestly have never seen any tree like these before. Like this is so massive and it's so big. And the way that the, it's like the trees, it's like the roots are growing up. That's what it looks like, right? The roots, yeah, they're coming right up. That is, it's, it's so amazing. Look at this one, it's hanging down. Look at, wow. I don't even know what kind of science this is. Look at this. They're holding it up by a rope. This tree is growing like from a rope and this one is like coming over like a, like this, this is so cool. I'm sorry, my commentary's gotta be out of this world on this because I'm, I'm a little speechless. I don't know what to say. It would make an amazing tree house. Right now, the golden hour is so beautiful and I had no idea that the gardens went this deep. This is amazing. This is a hike and a half though. And we have to start making our way back up for the fireworks. So we're gonna kind of make our way back up to the front. They have a nice little bleacher area to watch the fireworks, but I feel like it doesn't matter. Look at how beautiful this is. This is where the fireworks are gonna happen. Look at that, you can you could be anywhere. I'd rather be on this grass over here. This is just amazing. This this is gonna be a great fireworks show. This is just a beautiful day, a beautiful night. A beautiful night at Legoland. Wouldn't it be a scream to live in brick or treat forever? <laughs> Unfortunately, the pesky little sun comes up and messes up all the fun for us monster folk. Now, to make this happen, I have just the spell. I will need a little magical help from a few of my friends and you, my very important monsters, to get everything just right. Wait <laughs> of this night will last forever! And with that, we are done here today. I'm with my little buddy here, and I'm gonna call it a night and uh, get some sleep. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. This was a beautiful park, and I enjoyed my visit here very much. I'm definitely gonna be coming back just so I can hang out in the Cypress Gardens. And uh, yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.